And for more on all of this, joining us is Dr. Archina Sadhu, Director of the System Diabetes Program at Houston Methodist Hospital and Assistant Professor at Weill Cornell Medical College. Doctor, good to have you here. People are already using Ozempic off-label for weight loss. Is the same thing going to now start happening for Munjaro? Well, we would hope not. Um, the FDA has specific labels for when these drugs are indicated, whether it be for type 2 diabetes or just overweight obesity with chronic medical conditions. Um, each of these drugs have side effects and risks. So in order for uh, someone to benefit from the drug, you really have to look at their surrounding um, comorbidities or other diseases that could also benefit aside from the weight. Doctor, early studies though show that Monjaro works even better than Ozempic. Why is that? How does Monjaro work differently? So these drugs are um, of a class called the Incretin class and um, our earlier ones, uh, Wigovi and Ozempic, uh, address one Incretin hormone, the GLP-1. Um, however, Monjaro addresses two different hormones, GLP-1 as well as GIP. And we believe that addressing both of these incretin hormones, which come from the gut, are contributing to the better effects on both blood sugar control as well as weight. We just heard a patient in the piece talk about the fact um, that Ozempic made her feel sick. Lots of people are reporting they feel nauseous all the time and sick to their stomach. Do you have the same side effects with Monjaro? Yes, actually the whole class seems to have the exact same side effect profile and these are well uh, demonstrated in the clinical trials are well, as well and often have patients t coming off the drug. So these uh, gastrointestinal side effects are common um, and there are more serious ones such as pancreatitis right. and there's also some concern for rare thyroid cancers as and the, well. And doctor, these are drugs you have to take forever. I mean. I heard that if you stop taking Ozempic, yeah. the weight comes right back on. Is the same true for Munjaro? Do you have to be on these drugs for the rest of your life? Yes, unfortunately, the drug effect lasts only as long as you take it. And we have done trials looking at what happens to the weight after you've stopped the drugs and it rebounds back to baseline, sometimes even a little bit more. You know, obesity. So they are lifelong drugs. Yeah. And so that's that's why you really have to make sure that the, that the benefits are there for you lifelong uh, in order to make it worth taking the, the drugs. Well, obesity is such a huge issue in this country. There are so many other health conditions and diseases linked to being um, overweight. Could Munjaro be a game changer if it's approved by the FDA for weight loss exclusively? Absolutely. Um, obesity itself is a chronic medical condition, and as, as your previous speaker mentioned, uh, it is a multifactorial disease. Um, and it's not so easy just to do lifestyle changes, although the, that's a foundation we should not forget. Uh, but sometimes um, the disease itself is so hard to manage. And then we know that obesity is closely linked with type 2 diabetes, right. hypertension, cardiovascular disease, and other organ disease. So. So stopping obesity in its early stages is going to have long-term benefits for anyone. Um, but it seems that um, it has gone beyond just obesity and it's the right. off-label indications for that don't meet the label that are, that are getting us in uh, more risk categories. Wouldn't be the first time, doctor. Wouldn't be the first time. Thank you so much for being here tonight and breaking this down. This is something a lot of people are going to be watching very, very closely. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.